Good afternoon! Your gear doesn't mean shit if you can't access it. One of the things I love about ShivWorks classes and other courses that run scenario work is the fact that they sort out reality rather quick. I speak a lot about foundations. You have to have strong foundations first. That fancy stuff, it's just stuff under stress. And watching scenario after scenario play out of seeing what actually works, well, it's always back to the basics. You are never too good for a foundations class. That's the root of where everything will stem. Also, you're not going to be able to just shoot them just because your EDC is some fancy pistol you can still carry. So back to basics. Your weapon is just a not so pretty paperweight if you cannot draw it under stress. And from what I've seen in the just shoot em camp, it's that most people have not trained to pull their EDC while simultaneously trying to understand what the hell is even going on. Brain playing catch up to violence so much so that they did not maintain good space from possible attacker and soon bad guy Jerry talked his way into basically being in your eyeball, hashtag clinch, and now it's a whole other bag of beans. That wasn't trained for because time was spent standing isosceles shooting at a paper target 20 feet away and that's it. Same goes for knives. I hear this all the time. I carry a knife. Oh yeah? <laughs> Where do you keep it? Well, it's at the bottom of my purse. Well, then that's not a knife. That's just an Amazon box opener. There are many, many, many pretty ones out there. I own a lot. I really like them. But pretty becomes useless if you don't practice how to use the tool for what it's meant for. And in the realm of self-defense, we are talking of a world of learning how to make decisions under stress and even just being able to get the weapon when needed. And that's just the beginning. What's interesting from what I've witnessed in scene-based training is a lot of the time the eye-opening piece is a couple of things. One I've witnessed several times is, yeah, in fight, they can maybe get their gun out, but the timing is wrong and their own weapon is used on them. <laughs> that sucks. I've had that happen to me. Or they are so amped up, they make a terrible decision. I once watched a scene where a man had a woman come running up to him crying that she needed help because her boyfriend was beating her. He didn't hesitate, but he pulled his orange training knife and he just stabbed her. When the helmets came off and he was asked what he thought happened, he stated, well, she came running up to him aggressively, so he acted accordingly in his mind. Then she spoke her piece and he heard what she was actually saying and the dawning realization was very apparent on his face. You have to understand the weight of the decisions for the weapon that you are carrying. You have to train to make decisions, think out and plan beforehand, and don't just start with, well, I would just shoot him. Because no, no, you wouldn't. Because you probably won't be able to. Whoa. Stuff goes sideways really fast when protecting oneself, and then you throw a deadly weapon in the mix, and it all gets even that much more wonky. The choice to carry a weapon is a very personal one, and one you need to train with. Fancy stuff is just that, fancy stuff to have fun with. Trust me, I love to learn about all of those things. But first, before you go all willy-nilly with the gadgets and gizmos, start with the basics of accessing and pulling under stress. That being said, I realized here lately that I have trained under multiple phenomenal instructors in the past few years all across the United States that teach just this. So heads up on a mini vlog I'm getting ready to roll with on here in regards to safe and awesome people to learn these very things from. So stay tuned. Much love to you all. Hoot hoot.